There is a question that is troubling. You have taught us in this church over and over again that all things are possible. Nothing is impossible before God. But of late, some things look more complicated than what you probably have taught us. What is happening with some issues like HIV, cancer, and the coronavirus? Are they healing or they are not? Or it is, uh, is it that we have believed too much more than what God can do? Your, your, your last statement implies uh, that there can be things that God cannot do. Like, like the way you framed it. Yes. Somebody out there may think like um, the men of God are maybe speaking too much about a God who does so little. Uh -huh. I know that whatever I have taught you people yes. and that I've taught the nations yes. is exactly what I know. And not just because I know, I practice it. Yes. I have seen it work. This issue of corona has made many people to think like God may not handle this. Mm -hmm. But the reason why men of God are not out there saying that they have handled the issues of corona mm -hmm. is not because they have not handled them. Okay. We first waited to know whether truly corona exists. Mm -hmm. After we established that corona does exist, mm -hmm. Therefore, we knew we have an opportunity to show the potential of our God. Amen. And, and therefore, it is not that the corona is too powerful than any other thing. Yes. It's because the way the governments were presenting corona, and if you purported to be laying hands on the people, mm -hmm. you could definitely be put on isolation. Yes. And therefore, the men of God have handled several corona cases and... Uh, and um, and nothing has actually happened to them. Mm -hmm. Personally, I have. Yes. I have handled, I, I want to show you a particular case. Yes. Around July 24th, I'd celebrated my birthday on July 5th. My friends had come home to my share care. Then around 25th, you remember last year, July, I didn't have a motor. Corona. So when you talk about Corona, me, I was in the ICU. Hello. Yes. So at that time, uh, my wife is expectant. Uh, in the hospital, clearly, I'm sick, terminally ill. Na June, I'm beyond a bit of Missouri because Bob Colimo had died, and I'd seen the way he had died. So I also said, I don't want when I die, my wife to suffer. I want you to imagine this: January to March and April, business was so good. For the first time, I bought my dream car. I really wanted to buy an Audi Q7. So I didn't know Audi Q7, I me pack up unje. Then as a gift to my wife, I bought a, an Audi A5, a small one. And then, to Kanunua Mashamba. Business was so good. So things are blooming. I'm a consultant. Alafu, unakuwa mgonjwa. And then, once of you unashunda ku breathe. I, be, I went in and out of hospital, meditest, I got can, who a medical card, like in a funny nini? Let me tell you, a medical card is nothing. You can a medical card, mbili kwanza, CIC na jubilee. But in a funny nini? Nikafanya all sorts of tests. Then finally, Dr. Ketch told me, Griffins, you have this thing, we will put you on drugs, but I'll, I'll, I'll request you to isolate. My wife refused, Takazema, if you're going into isolation, I'm going with you. And if you're going to die, I'm going to do what? To die with you. I cried the entire night. My mother called me. Ulimi mekua kubwa. Inatoka nje. So my I told my mother, I know I'm dying. Just come. I do what? You see me? She came on a Friday. When she reached the house, akipita kwa miti, we stay in Modaiga. So akipita kwa miti, ananuna nimeka, nimelala. Immediately, she started praying. Then she told my wife, call for me, Nim, my friend. I want us to go to Kisi. First of all, I refused. I'm going to call the police. Because we're not going to be like a 
So I told my wife, my wife said, where are we going? I said, no, let's go to pastor. These are spirits. I said, my mom, clearly this is corona. So there's nothing that's going to happen. So my friends, wakakuja, uh, that time, wakanembia, sorry bro, it has been tough. We loved you. Don't worry, we'll take care of your family. <laughs> Guys, let me tell you something. You know, you've never been sick. Me, I knew I was going what? To die. And let me tell you, that was the first time I've been sick for, I don't know, for as long as I've been alive. So, my mother was in fact, I in fact, in force. So, he called a friend of mine. So, this friend of mine was in the I mom. He said, I'm going to Hey, like name, I'm going to go so you are you, you know very well this is covid i'm dying what's your problem my wife is like crying so everybody's there my sisters are there it was on a friday and there was a praise and worship that time i actually there were around 100 seats inside here because we really were observing social distance so that friday when i came i sat there so my auntie akanishika toka pale kulia I sat there, I'm, I'm like, it's okay. Nikambia, my mom, when I finish this church, you take me home. I want to be buried close to my gra- grandfather. So I sat there, nakohoa, najaribu kukanyegia, nakohoa, nakohoa. So my mom tells me, have faith. She keeps, she keeps telling me, have faith, my wife was there. That Friday, I'd not even taken food for almost a week. Nakiwa tu, maji hapo ya So that, after the prayers, I remember pastor told me Kujapa, I walked, Nikakapale. You know, until things happen to you, you don't get to believe them. Hello. Yes. Until something happens to you. I told you I'm a journalist. So even Ukiambiwa, the God, there is a God, you don't believe it. So Nikakapa, pastor Kanambia Simama, do you believe? Do you want to get healed? Nikambia, yes, pastor, of course. Tukaomba, pastor Kaniguza, I felt something has happened. I fell down, my wife was there, my mother was there. I just felt something strange. Then I stood up. Then I went and told my wife, I felt suddenly I can breathe properly. So, now, now, let me, let me tell you something. I think I have photos of when I was unwell. Um, when we watch television to kiangalia such testimonies, do you know what we say? Wale wameli? I am telling you, that's what I say. Mimi mwenyewe, I was the first one to say, amefanya nini? Amelipua. Because until it happens to you, you can't believe it. So, I had not eaten. Tukamaliza, pastor told me you'll be well, see, me, see you tomorrow. Kambia pastor will be here very early. Tukaenda, I had not eaten. My aunt, my mom, my aunt, and we went, and I told them, I feel hungry. Wait, wait. To kind of, there's a hotel called La Zion, to kind of pale. I ate chicken and chips. Then I called my mom. Mom, may I want to go to church right now? Then, who's driving? I'm the one who's driving. So, Let me tell you, I was wearing pajamas. My wife tells me, let's go and buy clothes. Then I told her, hello. I did not go there with clothes that were good. I want to go there the way I'm, uh, I'm like this. To Kakuja, I sat there, very strong, praise and worship. I sang very well. I felt very composed. When we left, when everybody left, I came and told Pastor, Pastor, I'm feeling very well, trust me. I know I'm okay, I'm healed. Sasa yura yangu. When you took an alikuja, I can be a can you look like you see? Yeah, Tata, a Montori Montoki, you know. So, in fact, in the talk on the campaign, I want to go back to the I wanted to really go back to the city because I wanted all these guys who are thinking that I was dying to really see. So, I drove, let me tell you, I think that was the fastest drive I've ever done, and they were even shocked. I think I took for three hours to Nairobi. I figured I could pick up my mom. I'm in the house. She didn't believe it. To do a kiss around 5 p.m. Trust me. By 8:30, we're in the house. 
of course we are to handle it uh, uh, intelligently <laughs> We, without causing a problem to anybody because nobody was sure of anything we were only sure about our god yes and therefore when the young man was brought on a day when there was nobody in the church yes i remained with him mm -hmm. and i wanted to see whether i can die mm -hmm. therefore when the young man was brought by the mother from nairobi mm -hmm. after praying for him i was alone with him and the mother mm -hmm. and he was healed yes. i told him later to come and testify without fear yeah. that, that tells you therefore I have seen a case of HIV. Yes. I have seen a case of cancer. Yes. I'll show you the video in a moment. Yes. These are people that have come to testify after being healed mm -hmm. and being examined and proved medically that their conditions have been reversed. Yes. Not by conventional medicine, mm -hmm. not by magic power, mm -hmm. not by scientific means, but they have been totally, those diseases have been totally terminated by the power of prayer Amen. so Amen. corona is not a very big issue Amen. it is the governments that make it to appear so complicated mm -hmm. if the governments could just understand that we can handle this and incorporate the church and the power of prayer mm -hmm. openly we can get in and help the government to undo the so-called pandemic mm -hmm. it's a very small thing I can tell you for free, Pastor, I have handled more than five of similar cases. Of coronavirus. Yes. <laughs> and they're all healed. They're all healed. Yes. And um, we are with them. Amen. Not one of them uh -huh. died. Yes. Anybody that came out of that. Mm -hmm. And even now, at the end of this service, yes. I'm going to offer a prayer uh -huh. to anybody that's believing God to come out of corona. And they will come out of it. Amen. Right now, I'm going to offer a prayer that is meant to heal corona, to heal HIV, to heal cancer, any terminal complication, you shall be relieved. Right now, wherever you are, believe. Father, in Jesus' name, I release an anointing that is going to bring down every terminal disease. Will be it diabetes, whatever name they call it, cancer, yes. HIV, yes. corona. Yes right now yes. in the name of jesus be terminated right now be healed be healed be healed be healed in the name of jesus thank you lord for healing your children in jesus name we are praying amen amen whatever you are viewer i know god has terminated that and he has healed you from that disease come to our area whatever church you find next to you Go there and testify what the Lord has done. Amen. God bless you.